I thought it was a great, a great game for us. I'm delighted that Dean and, and Shaky have brought a very, very strong squad along uh, this evening. Um, and I thought we got out of it what we wanted to. I mean, I never, I never looked too much into uh, results in pre-season anyway. But you know, we were. We were in the game for me, and it was a, it was really competitive. Um, played in a great spirit between the two groups, um, and I saw exactly what I wanted to see on the whole, um, both for the lads who we've already got uh, tied down and the ones who've been good enough to come in and let me have a look at them. So I've made a lot of decisions tonight on them lads, um, which will all you know unfold in the next hour or so, and then then going forward, probably on Saturday you'll see slightly less amount of lads than, than he did tonight but the, the bulk of the group are exactly where we want them in terms of their fitness levels and again playing against a, a group like we just did there is, is a, that's a testament to the lads that can be proud of how they've represented the, the football club tonight. You've got quite a few trials, is the, are they all in contention or are you looking like the three or four or whatever? Yeah, well, that group? Well, that's depending, depends what the cost. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, the specific area that I want to add a one or two faces to, I've got I've got my targets in mind. One or two of them are here, one or two of them weren't here. So there's, there's discussions, as I always say, to you, going on all the time in terms of recruitment. Um, so I'm hopeful, very hopeful, to have one or two new faces in the building before the game on Saturday. Um, we saw, of course, I've seen him, the young centre half, um, play today. I'm going to look at his name because I've forgotten it. Uh, Crowd, I don't know, big pun. Yeah, Adam, um, yeah, yeah. He looks suited <laughs> well next to a uh, usually experienced in uh, the Josh Johnson. Yeah, I thought he acquitted himself well. I think he was a little nervy early in the game, but listen, he's a, he's a big lad, he's a good presence. You've got to remember again, he's playing against a guy who scores goals in the Premier League. Yeah. You know, so from that point of view, again, we've got to take all of that into context and take from the game what we wanted to do. And, and again, it's all about our fitness levels and where a shape to the side, the, 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 the type of football we want to play, um, and I think he'd fit in great. It's not about beating Norwich City tonight. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't play any game and I don't, that I don't want to win, but like I said to Dino before the game, um, we, you know, we, we are we're from a different stratosphere to, to them in terms of the size of the football club, so you know, it's, it's not about winning the game tonight, it's about applying ourselves correctly. We're going to make relationships with, with Norwich City that I can't believe weren't as close as what they should have been with a club situated where we are. I mean, I know Dean really well and I know Shaky really well, but I also know upstairs there because of my role when I was, when I was at Rovers. So from that point of view, I'd like to think we're going to have a, a much better relationship uh, with City and um, you never know, they might have one of their faces in our dugout. Well, I mean, we saw Matt Dennis here last season in South End, I mean, a great example of the Why we didn't have him, I have no idea. Yeah, if he was available in the beginning of the season, I've no idea why he wasn't mm. taken by this club. Yeah, but, um, but uh, listen, that's all history. At the end of the day, we'll 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 move on to, to the MK Dons game, uh, which will be different to that, to be honest with you. But um, as difficult in terms of the, they're very much a possession based side, and, and we'll be looking to get more minutes into most of the lads' legs who you saw this evening. No Josh tonight. Mm. Josh yeah. I mean, well, it's a double-edged sword with him because he's he's not injured as such. He's, he's got a very he's got a tight hamstring, which he's had on and off since I've known the lad, to be honest with you. But he's also got uh, personal issues, not issues, personal event imminent, which is a huge event in his life. He's, his partner's about to give birth, so he's uh, he was here this evening, but uh, we've just got to make sure he's right, you know, physically and mentally to, to join the group again. But he's he, there's nothing to worry about regarding Josh. He's, he's certainly very much behind the scenes here. Timing's not great, because I would imagine Josh was the one who would love yeah. to have been there. I mean, that, we just talked wits. about, yeah, we just talked about that there, you know, at the end of the day, against a, a team like Norwich City, Josh brings you something creative when we do have the ball, but he also would maybe be a little bit lacking in an area where we, when we didn't have the ball, and of course, against a team like that, it's going to be long spells when you don't have the ball. So that, that's what I was really pleased with, my shape, my spaces, <clears throat> uh, and, and the communication, other than the two goals, which we can work on. And it's good for not just as your team, but Kingston Football Club, watching all the lads, the young people around here, yeah. enjoying a game against the neighbours yeah. and really Brilliant. good night out. Absolutely. Listen, I watch them lads on the telly on a Saturday night, so it's great to see us pitting our wits against top, top professional people. You know, these guys have got every single thing they need or could desire to be a better footballer. You know, <laughs> you just look around here. But, but listen, I don't begrudge them any of that. They, they've, they've, helped, they've conducted themselves so well since coming to the club. 
like I was here at three o'clock, the kit man and the, the guy setting up for them were here about half past three. And um, that can't, nothing but praise for the fact that they brought a really strong side. The people who've, who've come out on a lovely evening and hopefully have been entertained, have been a decent game, I thought. And overall, are you happy with the progress between the end of last season? Mm -hmm. Three yeah. and a half weeks away, are we? Yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody says to me, like, oh, yeah, but we haven't brought many new ones in. Or, well, you talk like that, but we have really, because a lot of the lads we brought in towards the end of the season, we've managed to retain. The ones that were here before I got here who I wanted to retain, we've also retained them. And that's half the battle with recruitment. I mean, I know there are certain people in the, in the, in the club now, players wise, who I know are comfortable to be competitive, not just in the National League, but in the National League towards the top end of it. They proved that to me last season, so the, the job I feel we've got on, on in hand now is a very different one to the one I had when I came in last December. I genuinely believe we'll be strong, we'll be front-footed side, we'll be fitter, stronger, faster than a lot of teams in the division, and that's something that we couldn't say that. I couldn't sit here and say that against uh, many of the teams we played last season. So. If we do manage to do to achieve what we want to achieve, if we do get back to where we want to be, then we'll be in better shape next time. Wouldn't you have changed things tactically? Because it was a different job last season, wasn't it? He was yeah. trying to stay up and against better footballers. Mm. What do you think we'll see from a Kingston team in the new season? Well, I think you'll see an energy and a fitness and a, a desire to, to work for the shirt, to be honest with you. In terms of, I'm not saying they didn't before I got here, but. I definitely thought that was something that everybody who we played against, your Wrexhams, your Notts Counties, your Grimsby's, all the managers afterwards would say to me, oh, you made them competitive. You, you know, we didn't play as much football as I'd like to do, but like tonight, we're playing against a team way better than anything we played last year, but we were competitive in the game. Now, they'll be as, as far on in their pre-season as we are in ours, really, because they start a week earlier than us. So I'm delighted we've been able to go with them for the vast majority of the game. Um, albeit, don't get me wrong, we'll be in their second or third gear and we'll be in fourth. That's that's the way it is. But I'm really pleased with the way we've done it and touch wood. Other than a little knock to Ben Stevens' head, um, I think we're all we're all ship shape and fancy free. Yeah, he's got great bottom half. Yeah, he's a bit of Guerrero in that respect. He's a good player, Ben. So he's maybe one that you will see around a little bit longer. Would Would you say? I mean, I know we're not in the national league, but would you say we're now in a better position now you've had time to put your stamp on the bins a little bit more? Um, well, that's a hard question, but at the end of the day, I think the group of players we have now, which a lot of them were here, if you look at who was playing this evening, um, had we started the season next week in the, in the National League, I think we'd be competitive in there, without a shadow of a doubt, because they know me now, and I know them individually and collectively, and I think they've bought into the way we train, the way we prepare, uh, and ultimately the way we're going to try and play. So. You can see the pitch behind you is in much better nick than when I got here, and my aim is to make sure that nobody who isn't working is standing on that pitch. So them lads over there will be shifted very, very shortly. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're training at a new facility this season. How's that gone down? Well, with really there. Again, listen, I'm not knocking anything that went before me, but the facility that was offered to them lads last season. I believe the first one they had and the second one, in my opinion, was not up to standard for what you would call a full time team. Now we're on one site where we've got the pitch to, to train on, we've got gym, gym facilities, pool facilities, studios, we've got, you know, everything that you would need and have no excuses as to, you know, what if we want to do something slightly different, we'll have the facility available for us. So, I'm delighted that the chairman has agreed to, um, to provide that for us. And in, in, in truth, coming to Kings Lynn every day makes the ground a little bit mundane to the player or the, and the staff. Now we're not going to be coming in to the actual football ground every day. This is our place of work and I expect us to turn up, do our work and go back to my training ground on the Monday morning. And that, that's a different mentality, it's a different mindset. These don't train at Carroll Road, they've got their own call me, they go there and it's a different day. We go to match day, your head's different if you're not there every day and I think that's important.